Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel, Rebecca Stew and the crew. I hope you're having a great week. I'm Rebecca and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this rustic harvest wreath using a wire wreath form from the Dollar Tree. So the supplies you're going to need to recreate this wreath are one of these wire wreath forms in the pumpkin shape from Dollar Tree, some either wicker or some stone. Um, twine or some twig wreaths from Dollar Tree. I used a large and a small one with plenty left over. You're also going to need some flowers of choice. So I used the bittersweet from Dollar Tree in the yellow and the orange. And then I also used the fall colored berries also found at the Dollar Tree. And then to add a little bit of green accents with some leaves, I used the mini flower with grass. And I really just used the leaves off of these. You can use whatever you want. And also some of the wired ribbon from Dollar Tree. So I used three different ones to make one giant bow for mine. And then you're also going to need some scissors, some hot glue, and some floral wire, which you can also find at the Dollar Tree. So let's start crafting. So the first thing you're going to do is take your wire wreath form and you're going to take your twig wreath and you're going to start unwinding the wreath so that you can get them separated and be able to start wrapping this around your wreath form. So it unwraps fairly easily as you can see here, but it does make a mess. So I recommend maybe sitting outside or putting a blanket or something down so you don't have too big of a mess to clean up when you're done. So you don't have to get the whole thing completely unwrapped. You can break it off um, once you think you have a fairly decent sized piece. And then I only used about five pieces of the twigs from the wreath. I didn't want it too thick, but you can make it as thick as you want for yours. So what you're going to do is take your floral wire and wrap it around the top here to hold those twigs in place. You want to wrap it about four or five times around the top and then twist it fairly well to hold that in place. And once you've got that attached to the wire wreath form, it doesn't look like the twigs are that easy to manipulate here, but they actually are really easy to move around. So you just want to kind of pull it over to the side and then start wrapping this floral wire in a spiral all the way around. And if you just pull that wire pretty tight, it really just grabs those twigs and gets them attached to the wire form fairly easily. As you can see here, it wasn't a struggle. So, you know, be warned, it looks like it, was difficult at first or like it kind of feels like it's not going to move where you want it to but once you get that wire on there and start wrapping it it just pretty much does what you want it to do so now to show you guys how to add some twigs to the bottom here when you run out you're just going to overlap a little bit where you were the last time so right before the end is where you want to start um, thinking about adding your new piece and then make sure you have some wire left over so that you can overlap that little piece right there because you don't want it thicker in some spots and thinner in others you want it pretty uniform all the way around your wreath form so you just want to keep adding the twigs this way um, so it really, you know, you don't want too short of pieces, but you want them, you know, probably about a foot long at least to start wrapping it around and overlapping. Then you're going to just break off any excess at the top there. And now we're going to start doing the exact same process for all the little rungs down the center of the pumpkin. It's a fairly easy process. This is the most time consuming part of the whole project. And it wasn't even that difficult to do. Um, I really liked it a lot because I didn't want to do the same, like... Um, deco mesh wreaths that a lot of people are making with these. I really wanted to make mine a little bit different. That's why I chose to use the um, twig uh, wreaths here. So now I'm going to do the stem. So I'm just going to go ahead and break a bunch of excess off of that last wreath that I had and holding that together I'm just going to take the floral wire and wrap it around in a spiral motion about halfway up um, this piece here. So I made that about seven inches long so that it would be tall enough to stick under the, so I kind of went like over the top of the stem, but took the bottom of it and tucked it under in the back so you wouldn't be able to see it. And then I wrap the wire around it a few times and then start going in and out, like up and under, almost like you're sewing it in place. So it would hold in place fairly well around the top of that wired stem part. And it's okay if there's like a little bit of an open space there where you can see in between where the twigs don't completely cover it up because we're going to add the bow and some flowers here in a minute and it's going to cover that right up and it's not going to be that noticeable plus you can space your um or like spread out the twigs a little bit once you have it wired in place there so then to add the flowers all i did was i cut them down 
uh, to size and then I started sticking them down into the twigs here and then I also took um, a little bit of hot glue on the back and just started putting a little dot of hot glue just to make sure that over time as this is in storage and things like that that it's going to stay and not come apart on me because I would like to use this more than one year so you're just going to go ahead and stick those flowers in in between the um, wire wreath form and the twigs and then once that's done we're going to go ahead and think about making our bow so you just kind of decide how large of a bow you want to attach to the front of this I wanted mine to be fairly large so it looked kind of like leaves in the front so that's what I did and then I just tied that all together with the floral wire and then that's how I attached it then I started adding some of the berries a few more leaves and some more flowers to the front to give it some depth and that's it the hardest part literally was wrapping the twigs around the wire wreath form and that wasn't even that difficult so I hope you guys enjoyed making this rustic harvest wreath with me it's very easy if you need help making a bow please comment down below I can do a tutorial on how to make a bow thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and here are some other videos you might also enjoy